Right, that tooth on the wheel is deeper, and it. Keep watching what happens. Right, it lets that this arm rise a bit higher, so it catches. It, rather than going through there, if you have a look, it comes through. It, it just it's like a lockout engine. It hits. Lifts that out, lets this arm drop, lets that weight go onto this bit of the arm there. Here we go again. Bang. And then over this side, when this arm comes down, you've got electrical points, which in turn make these two electromagnet coils actuate in here and you get it pulling hard and flicks this arm which raises whoop, there we go done it too much that's 30 seconds in front now and there it goes again so now it's 30 seconds in front and that is called I think that's called waiting train because it's all waiting to happen but when you zoom out of there onto here The electrical impulse that happens all amongst here, when these points shut, sends another electrical current round to another coil, which in turn actuates a cog just there, which moves, just moves it on 30 seconds, 30 second increments around the face. And it's a long case, if I can get back far enough. And that's a, that's it. In, it, in its day, it was so cutting edge technology. So you can see the size, it's all cast iron up here. Just this little bit of uh, spring steel there, really, that the pendulum's swinging on. And it, as I say, if you keep watching that, the big deep tooth of the cog is coming round again. Bang, kicks it back up.